Okay, so for this question, um, there's a couple of things we need to do. First of all, we need to identify the fact that this is an isosceles triangle. And the reason is they are both radii, therefore they are the same length. Um, that means that this angle here is also 35 degrees. Um, and you need to make sure you write down the fact that that is uh, an isosceles triangle in your working out. Now, the circle theorem we're going to use is the fact that when a uh, radius and a tangent, which are these two here, meet, they always meet at right angle. So this is a right angle here. Therefore, to find out what x is, we're going to do the 90 degrees that that right angle makes up, take away the 35 degrees that we know. So we're going to do 90 take away 35, which is going to be 55 degrees. So not only do we need to write down what x is, we also need to give the reason. So reason will need to include the fact it's an isosceles triangle, so you need to write that down. And the circle theorem that we're using is angle between radius and tangent equals 90 degrees. So anything saying that when the radius and tangent meet, it's 90 degrees, or a right angle will give you the mark.